Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Lauren with Laura's Leaves. And today I have another plant haul video for you. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, these are my favorite videos to film. For one, they're easy, just gonna put it out there. And for two, they're a lot of fun. This past weekend, I made a couple trips to some nurseries and I stopped at my favorite nursery, Randy's Greenhouse and I found some really nice plants and decided to bring them home with me. One being a gift for my fiance whose birthday is today. So send him some birthday love, hit that like button, show him some love in the comments because he too now has his very own house plant. So that's exciting. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you everything that I found at Randy's and then what I found at our surprise trip to Home Depot. Found some good stuff. This past weekend, I went a little crazy with the plants. So, in the summer, I like to move a lot of plants outdoors. As you can see, I have some next to me now. And that leaves a lot of space in my house. So in my mind, I'm like, their space, fill them with plants. So that's what I'm gonna do. I made a trip to two different places this past weekend, one being my favorite, favorite, most favorite greenhouse, and that is Randy's greenhouse near Midland. One of the first things I found and picked up was this Cissus rhombifolia, this type of grape ivy. And I have never seen this in person. So when I saw it there, I thought, why not give it a try? I think it'll go perfect in my bathroom, give it space to kind of grow and do its thing. Because I think these are pretty prolific growers. And if they're anything like the wild grape ivy that grows on my fence, this will not be an issue when it comes to new growth, hopefully. So plant number one that I found, my Cissus rhombifolia. The next thing I decided to get is something that actually isn't even for me. It's for my fiance. He said he wanted to start getting into bonsai. And when I asked him earlier, a few weeks back, what he wanted for his birthday, he said, I want a bonsai tree. So I was stoked. If you want plants, I'll buy you some plants. We can be in this together. When I saw this, this ginseng ficus, I thought it was perfect. These are such character plants. And to me, it reminds me of a little monkey butt with its tail sticking out or <laughs> other things, use your imagination. But this is just darling. I might have to get more because these are just so fun to me. I have a handful of other ficuses in my collection. So I'm hoping that us together can keep this thing alive but this is going to be tom's plant so send him all the good vibes if you hope he keeps it alive hit that like button because we shall see i'm going to leave this solely up to him to take care of unless i see it struggling then i might give this little character some help but ginseng ficus very cute little monkey butt the last thing i found at randy's and i'm really excited about is this gem now this is a type of, what, angel wing begonia, cane begonia, if I am not mistaken. I do not know what this beauty is called. I just know that it is an angel wing begonia and it has a lot of new growth shooting out right here, right here, and the gorgeous red back of a leaf. This is not the begonia maculata that I, have been waiting to find in person but this is just as gorgeous with the little spots on the leaves very nice and then yesterday so yesterday was sunday my fiance and i went to home depot to get things set up for our, our kitchen we're in the middle of a kitchen remodel and we are waiting to get our countertops so we made a quick trip to home depot to pick those out and get everything set and walking through, I didn't even go to the plant section, walking through to the back of the store where you get to the kitchen area was a row of succulents. And I found, one minute, these. 
for $12.98. Two of them. There was only two left and call me bad, but I bought them both. And they're not both for me. One is gonna go to my friend John. He has an Instagram account, wonky underscore peduncle. Go check him out. A couple months back, you might have watched my Hertz unboxing. I purchased him a string of hearts off of Hertz.com and they really looked crazy. So <laughs> if you go back and watch that video, you will see the type of condition that those string of hearts came in. So I know that he has been looking for them. So I bought one for him and one for myself. And I've never seen these in stores. I have one of the more silvery edged, I think it's called like Silver Bay or I'm not sure, but I have the more silver string of hearts. And I think this is your more traditional. I'm not quite sure, but now I have both. So, but I have never seen a string of hearts of any kind in any of the nurseries around here, any of the big box stores. So I was very excited to see these. And since there was two, I felt like it was fate. Sent it, they're mine. One will be John's very soon. Then the last thing I found, which I was, oh, okay. You see it? <laughs> the last thing I found were these. Rick rat cactuses, I believe, or maybe it's the fish bone, or are those the same thing? I don't know. But I found these for $5.98, so $6 a piece. I had to get two. I've looked for these in person as well and have yet to see them in stores, so this was super cool. This was the first plant that caught my eye when we walked into Home Depot. So I felt like that's a good sign. Maybe that's a good sign that our kitchen is going to be a success hopefully good foreshadowing we shall we shall see so that is everything i got look at these awesome what is it the tropical cactus right i'm excited to grow these um there is some webbing down in here so i am wondering if it may or may not have had spider mites but i am going to keep these separate and i also forgot to mention at Randy's, I picked up some of these nut pots. I cannot find these anywhere. Now, I don't really use these for um, LECA or anything or semi-hydro. These are just for, I like using these for my orchids and when I'm doing propagations and moving things from sphagnum, from like the prop box to sphagnum and then to the soil or for whatever. I like having them around and all the ones I have right now are super small, so it's time to up them to some bigger pots. And another cool thing that happened this weekend is my brother and his girlfriend gifted me this adorable ornamental pepper. I think it's some type of ornamental pepper. And supposedly these little peppers are supposed to be really, really hot. So they know that I love anything spicy. The spicier, the better. I've never seen this before, but I am going to enjoy growing it. And maybe I'll even be able to cook with these little peppers once they mature so I hope so so that is what I purchased on my trip to Randy's and Home Depot it's been a good weekend when it comes to plants I found some cool things and I'm excited hopefully I can kind of contain myself for the rest of the summer season because pretty soon I'm gonna run out of space I already moved a lot of plants outside so prepare yourself for some patio tours in the near future when I have it all set up to the way I like it. But with all that stuff coming outside, there's a lot of space now in my house and I hope I don't go overboard, but we will, we will see. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.